came to me for a coolant leak. I've already gone ahead and uh, pumped it up. It's gone down just a little bit. You guys know what we're supposed to be sitting at. About 15 PSI. So you can see it's down just a little bit. Um, I've already went ahead and inspected the several leak points on this truck. Um, so you already got the upper date updated upper hose and uh, I don't see any coolant leaking right where my light's at. Kind of hard to see down there. It's a little metal ledge that the coolant likes to leak on. Right there you can kind of see the rust down in there. Um, and then underneath. <coughs> Alright, we're underneath. You can see the up the lower hose. Um, that's the updated one. And I have no coolant leaking on that. You can kind of tell it's got uh, got a little bit of an oil leak. Looks like maybe front cover. Kind of can't see a little bit of maybe the bed plate leaking at that corner. Um, if you guys can really see, needs a needs a belt. I don't know if you guys can see those cracks in there on that pulley. See if I can get a better shot for you guys. Yeah, look at all those cracks up there. So it needs a little bit of work. Um, I do want to show you where I found the coolant leaking. You actually can see the drip right there. So we're going to come around and spin down over here. And now under the vehicle. Obviously, I see a little bit of wetness here. It's like, what, what's going on? And a little further up, you can see that hose leaking right there. Um, I don't know. I've never really had it leak from here. I know that little rubber hose comes on that metal tube. So I'm probably going to have to replace that whole tube and pipe as an assembly just so that we're not uh, I don't want to disturb this connection this one I don't know it looks like that may have been over tightened but I know those are they got a little torque spec on them so I'm gonna definitely have to look that up because I don't uh, I don't do those every day but check out uh, you can see it leaking it's going all the way down the K member here and it's just like almost looks like fuel green coolant though. Somebody's definitely got the wrong coolant in here. Um, yeah, make sure you guys are running Motorcraft Gold Coolant um, in your your 6.0 or 6.4. Definitely don't want to be running green. I know you guys can buy, you know, aftermarket compatible coolant, but I would definitely advise you to leave that garbage alone. So, uh, yeah, this is another 6.4 vid coming at you. I don't really care for these too much, but we can't pick and choose what we're going to work on. If it has a aura, we're working on it. So, alright you guys, tell me what you think about that in the comment section below. Let me know if anybody's ever had to replace their 6 of 4 EGR coolant hose to front cover. Um, and drop me a like. I hope everybody's uh, having a good holiday end of the year and uh yeah i'll see you guys next week thanks for watching